What happens is you naturally expose yourself to the sun, you get a slight tan, darker the skin, the more the filtering effect of the UV radiation. Also, we get more filtering of the production of vitamin D because the way that you make vitamin D is from this UV radiation interaction on your skin with cholesterol. That's all interesting information, but what's really important about this topic is what vitamin D does to your melanocytes. But vitamin D helps protect against the oxidation factor. It's a very potent antioxidant. Is there research on this? Yes, there is, but it's mixed. And if you look at the research, I think the reason why it's mixed is because the dosage of vitamin D that they're using is way too low and way too infrequent because they're basing it on an outdated RDA for vitamin D. A lot of the confusion with vitamin D revolve around this RDA, what our bodies require each day to survive, right? And they have it at 600 IUs, which is a crazy low number. If we're basing our research on that number, and if we do a research project with low amounts of vitamin D, we're probably not gonna see much result because to create a creative therapeutic dosage, you need more than 600 IUs.